So in this in this video, we are going to focus on CAD geometry syllabus and some of the important things in geometry that you have to keep in mind. So let's start with some of the important points here. So the first important point that comes on the screen is that five to seven questions appear in CAD paper from CAD geometry. So you can say that almost 20% of the questions can come from CAD geometry. There is no guarantee, but sometimes you might see more than five questions, six questions from the so geometry is a very very important component of the CAD quant section. After arithmetic and algebra, geometry questions are found in CAD. So you have to focus mainly on the application of simple concepts, and those simple concepts are Pythagoras theorem, similar triangles, basics of circles, and mensuration. So these are some of the key things, and we will we will discuss some of the important concepts that you have to focus on. Let's look at the syllabus part first. Triangles are very important. So when you talk about triangles, it's about isosceles triangle, equilateral, and then right angle triangle, Pythagoras, theorem, Apollonius principle, um, similar triangles, congruent triangles. So whatever comes to your mind about triangles, you have to have all the concepts very much uh, on the on your fingertips. Only then you would be able to solve the questions very easily. Circles are very important. So uh, things like intersection of circles and Engine and sequence and all those things pertain to circle chords and their properties very important. And then comes quadrilaterals. When we talk about quadrilaterals, we talk about uh, squares, rectangles, parallelogram, rhombus. All these are quadrilaterals. And when we talk about polygons, we talk about a pentagon, hexagon, octagon, so on and so forth. You know, so all the properties and about areas and how to inscribe circle and all those things are very important. Then you come to mensuration. Mensuration is 3D, that is uh, three dimension, and mensuration can be 2D, that is two dimension. Uh, questions uh, are you, you people might be very much familiar with these kind of questions. For example, if you uh, pour, let's say, uh, three liters of, uh, of of milk from a cone into a cylinder, then what would be the height of the cylinder or the radius of the uh, you know curved surface area, so on and so forth? You must have heard all those terms, right? And then you come to coordinate geometry. So the questions from coordinate geometry are fewer in number. In fact, uh, we haven't seen many questions, and they have come about basic rudimentary concepts of coordinate geometry. Trigonometry questions have not been seen at all. But then sometimes uh, knowing the trigonometry uh, concepts or tricks can help you solve uh, the conventional questions in a non-conventional way. So tri trigonometry can be of help, but again, if you Feel uncomfortable, you can skip this topic. Otherwise, these are some of the seven to eight areas that we have to focus on. Further, you have let's look at the concepts tested. So, what kind of concepts are frequently tested in the exam? The first is Pythagoras theorem. In fact, Pythagoras theorem is one of the most frequently uh, tested concepts uh, in the CAT exam. In fact, almost one or two portions definitely will involve Pythagoras theorem. Then you have similar triangles. So, the concepts of similar triangles means how two triangles are similar and uh, what are the properties through which they become similar all those things are very important and all basic theorems pertaining to triangles and circles any kind of theorem exterior angle theorem apollonius principle right angle theorem 45 45 90 theorem 36 90 theorem there are so many theorems so it's not difficult you all are already familiar with this you only have to get these on your fingertips so that you can apply them quickly in the questions and get the answer in a very short amount of time Mass point geometry concept is very important. It helps us find the areas and all those things. So we will learn that. Elementary, so we mentioned this that coordinate geometry you should do only the elementary parts. Nothing, there is only to go deep into coordinate geometry. Then you have formula one perimeter, area, volume, well defined geometrical figures. You know, perimeter, area, volume. So something that you, uh, you are quite familiar because you must have done all these in your school. So these are some of the frequently tested concepts. And further, you have geometrical construction. So, by geometrical construction, basically means you should be able to extend the figure on the left, on the right, draw some lines here, bring a perpendicular from there. So, you should be having that creative, uh, creative and imaginative side as well, so that you are able to make a figure uh, quickly and uh, use your imagination to find the answer in a, in a short amount of time. So, these are some of the most frequently tested concepts of geometry. Now, what should be the study plan for geometry? This is one area that everyone uh, wonders because people feel that geometry is an ocean. So where to start and how to start is one big headache you have. 
But here we have some very important things for you. Start with the basic theorem on triangles. So if at all you start with geometry, you have to start with triangles. Look at what is a triangle, what are the different properties of triangles, different types of triangles, and within that types of triangles, how to find their area, what is the height, and you know, all those things which you know already, but you should not try to remember them. Rather, you should try to uh, differentiate one from the other so that you can use these properties while solving equations. You should use Pythagorean triplets, very important. You should know about similar triangles and how their application, because many a time similar triangle applications will help you uh, with the help of similar triangles and ratio and, ratio, and the ideas of ratios, you'll be able to solve questions and find areas in a very short amount of time. Then you have to come to basic theorem. So you have to start with triangle. Start with triangle, go to Pythagoras, go to similar triangles, and then go to theorems on circles. So circle theorem basically means what is tangent, what is secant, how the chord subtension angle of 90 degree, uh, if it is placed, uh, joined with the diameter and so on. You know, you all those things which you can creatively use to solve the question. Then concepts applied on questions pertaining to two or more circles, such as tangential. So I mentioned this. Tangent is a very, very important part of circle. And then uh, you should also learn how to pull up all these things into one category and solve the question. So at times uh, in CAD geometry, you will not be using only uh, the concept of circles in the question. You would be using the concept of circle as well as concept of similar triangles as well as the concept of ratio and proportion. So multiple concepts are applied uh, in one go to arrive at the answer. Then you have to uh, focus on involving multiple figures. So there is a triangle, in the triangle you have a circle, and within the circle again you have a triangle, something like this, you know, all those uh, fancy images will come to your mind. So sometimes, yes, you should be able to solve such questions as well. Then construction, how to extend the line, how to bring the perpendicular, how to, uh, you know, just, just make the intersection such that you have vertically opposite angles. All these things are very important when it comes to solving questions.